End Times Matrix News. Let's discern the end times together. End Times Matrix News with your host Tim Clark. Hi, this is Tim Clark with End Times Matrix News. In this segment, I would like to go ahead and address breaking news that's really been escalating rather quickly. I'm feeling pressured to go ahead and just recap some of the major events that I've seen in the past week. I think that we're entering a rapid escalation. As of September 17th, the United States did something that was really out of character and drastic considering how our country has operated in the past. I believe the United States intentionally bombed a Syrian installation in order to provoke a World War III situation with Russia. What culminated from that was that the Russians called an emergency session of the United Nations Security Council to claim that the United States did do this on purpose. Also during this period of time on September 17th, we also experienced the first bombings in New York City, which culminated in the eventual capture of Ahmad Khan Rahami. These were the first Muslim-style bombings that have been associated with New York City in quite some time, and it is just another escalation on top of the U.S. bombing of the Syrians. So there does seem to be an escalation. What happened also on September 18th, the following day, we have a rupture in a pipeline that in Shelby, Alabama, that provides 40% of the gas to the East Coast, which started a gas crisis. Then on the 19th, the bomber was captured. That was the major news for that day. Then what we had happening in New York City also is that we, on the 19th, we had the raising of the Bale Arch, or known as better, the Triumph Arch of Titus in New York City. What also was of interest to this was that Mr. Katai did a breakdown of this Arch of Bale and its location. The actual layout formed a X pattern with X marks the spot being the Arch of Bale. And it also connected to the New York City Police Department and one of the lines, which carries us into the next major events that have happened, which are the Black Lives Matter riots, which have begun happening in the United States. And Hillary Clinton weighed in on these shootings of these individuals who were shot by police and has sided uh, with the rioters and has sided with Black Lives Matter. And anybody who knows anything knows that George Soros is funding Black Lives Matters and that they're trying to use the divide and conquer principle with the black population. But it has escalated right now and is getting worse with the governor, as of this taping, declaring a state of emergency in North Carolina in the Charlotte area due to the rioting that is going on there. And they also had set fire to some vehicles and supplies from trucks on Interstate I-85. And they proceeded to continue riding, and it's just gotten really out of hand right now. So George Soros, Hillary Clinton, the New World Order, the communists, insurgents that are trying to take over this country are really having a really good time right now with what's developing. And all of this is to keep the attention away from things that matter, like World War III, financial crises. And on top of all this, what is really interesting going on right now is that there is a very viral video of a asteroid impact that is supposed to occur between September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And we have talked about this many times before on our shows, based on Mr. Cadeye's decrypting of the September 23rd, 24th dates before. 
This also goes back to the original September 23rd, 24th controversy of last year. So we have a, an extreme escalation going on right now, and we need to be very vigilant and pray for the United States of America because it does look like they are trying to really ratchet up the anxiety across the United States and really create a lot of chaos, which is their main way of causing change. So I just want to thank everybody for listening to this podcast, and we'll get out some other videos and other podcasts for you real soon. Thank you very much for listening. Bye-bye. Thank you.